We are proud to present Redwood HQ 2.0, a visual open source test automation framework solution that allows an entire team to write code, develop keyword driven test cases, execute them, and analyze historical results all under a single web interface. In Redwood HQ, multiple users can develop and execute any Java Groovy code for things like API testing, or plug in a Java compatible tool like Selenium that I will use in this example. First, we have a script page. This is where our built-in IDE comes into play to develop all the scripts to be used by keywords or, as we call them here, actions. You can easily add or modify code and do a build. We also have an embedded git source code management to store all your code and transfer it between the users. Scripts get tied to the action, so let's see how it's done. Here we see the information for this click action, including its tag, its two parameters, and as well as the script that is associated with it using the script picker. That is done like so. Now let's tie it all together with an automated test case. Here we see a screen that is similar to the previous one, but we have selected an action collection option which allows us to string up all of our actions and pass values to them. Optionally, we could also tie this action to a specific script and bypass the action-driven approach altogether. To add or modify actions is very simple. You just find the action you want and drag and drop where you want it, like this. Once you have an action in a test case, you can easily put any values you want for it. You can move it around or delete it. The idea here is to make data entry for automation test case as fast and as efficient as possible. The next step now is to actually run the test cases. And the first thing we need to do is define a test set for execution. Here we define test cases we want to execute either individually or by entire tag it belongs to. Now let's open an execution which is already pointing to the test set we want. Here we select the test cases we want to execute and here we select the machine we want to run those test cases on. Since Redwood HQ allows for parallel execution in a single box, I can specify multiple threads and now both of those test cases are going to get executed together in parallel. Let's observe those test cases in real time with our built-in VNC viewer. The test execution is done and we see the results. Where one of the test cases has passed, another one has failed. We can get a quick overview of entire execution by looking at the chart But let's analyze a failed test case in more details. The details here show the actions that were executed, their values, and automatically expands to the action which has failed. I have purposely failed it by specifying invalid item index, and that's why we get an error that the Selenium was not able to locate this element. I can quickly view the screenshot, which shows the entire page when it failed, to try to identify this problem visually. And I can also jump right into a script code that failed by clicking on its stack trace link, which will automatically jump to the exact location where the failure has happened. If you want to compare your execution results and see how they did from build to build, you can easily do so with our aggregate report feature. By selecting the executions and clicking on report button, you will see a report that shows you the total number of how many tasks have passed or failed. And further below, 
you can see more details for each individual test case and its status per execution. Redwood HQ also has a tool called Looking Glass, which allows users to record, develop, and debug Selenium scripts, as well as identify and validate HTML objects by various properties. You open Looking Glass through this button, then select the browsers you want to work with, go to the URL, and now identify the objects you want to work with. In this example, it's a Go button. I can see it's CS Selector. I can validate it. It will highlight it. I can even try to click on it. The other portion is a code, which contains record playback as well as modification of any code you want. For example, if I click on Record, type in Star Trek, click on Go, stop the record playback, go back to the beginning, and let's do a playback. And it did it. So what are some Redwood HQ major features? It contains keyword-driven framework for ease of creation and maintenance of automated test cases, supports any Java or Groovy tool like Selenium for UI testing, SOAP REST for web services testing, APM for mobile testing, or just plug in any jar you want, it will just work. It has integrated IDE with Git source control, distributed and parallel execution engine for multiple machine execution, real-time results of execution as well as historical comparison reports, and it fully supports continuous integration with tools like Jenkins or TeamCity. Now that you've seen what Redwood HQ can do, please download it from redwoodhq.com and leave us feedback either in comment section below or in Google Groups forum. Thank you.